Push, hold on. Do the shit you hate, do it like you love it, baby. Shout out to Tyson. Ah. And then, uh, you know, it made me bring this to the topic of like the haters on the internet. Not that it matters, but uh, cause I'm not the only one that. We're out here. We're gonna get some hill sprints in because we got kicked out of OCC again. Ah. Uh, but I hear. So, yeah. Right away, right away, we pulled up. Two securities pulled up on me, man. Said, nah, nah, nah. You guys can't film today here. You guys can't run. Or not just film, you guys can't run, you know? So, we gave them the respect so all you guys wouldn't be talking all this crap on us, man. We gave them the respect and uh, we dipped, you know? Could have been a dick and just went. But, uh, you know, we dipped and we left. Give them the respect. But I seen this spot the other day and, uh, we're about to get a little few hill sprints in, so let's go. You know, I got to kick it off with the dead game. You know I got to kick it off with the dead game. Make sure you guys go to strengthcartel.com. Get yours. Let's go. Get it in early or just do like some cardio, you know? Yeah. At least I just did that. Right to work, I run a mile, I run like two miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a run like 15. You know, 15, um, 15 running up. Yeah, I'm about to walk 15 times. Okay, I'm just one day or two. This one. Stop moving. Close this. I'm gonna struggle today. To walk? No, I'm gonna just go hang on a sprint. I'm gonna go a little more than a jog. Try to do 10. I mean, literally, we can all get them together. I know like this is what Cheeto told me. Basically he does, when he does a hill like this, you run, sprint, out. he goes all out. He sprints, but um, get to the top, walk down, but right when you touch that back down, you go back up, no waiting down there. So it's just up, walk down, right when you get to the bottom, it's up again, no, no waiting. So, you know, and we're not even warm, so I'm gonna take like the first two or three to at least get the warm up, you know? Just another beast, dog. They're, they're way harder than stadium, dog. Alright, so we got 10 of these right here. You know, good little, good little run up, walk down, and back up right when we touch this shit. Back up. No, the walk down is our rest. That's what's gonna keep our heart rate going and make it extra hard. So, got the little youngster gonna go first. First, I thought it was together. <laughs> you no, know, well, well, we'll go together, but oh. you lead it off because you're you're gonna right. smoke us and be be faster than me. Or no, no, you go what you feel like you can go on the first one. Okay. You can go next, please. Let's go. Two, all those like 10 years old, so let's do like 20. It's old motherfuckers, got 10 on them. <laughs> Down, not even halfway, not even a third. 
Not even a third yet. Come on, dude. come on, come on. Yeah, that's rough. It's tough. Come on, catch him up. it out. baby seven three more eight nine ten I was just thinking this morning the little quote who knows if he thought about that shit or just came to his head but I think about that Mike Tyson shit even this morning while I was getting up, didn't want to come. You, you heard that shit, no? You found that podcast? Yeah. Wait, Tyson? Yeah. He said, uh, uh, do the shit you hate like you love it. You know, that's how you become champion. You heard that one? Do what you hate, but do it like you love it. So I hate, I think I hate the process of getting here more than the actual process. I don't, this is really hard, but getting up 5 a.m. to get here at 6 a.m. On a Saturday morning, I hate that shit. Harder, yeah, I hate that shit. But um, but you got to do it like you love it, baby. That's how you. It's all mindset. I just think hill. That's one, bro. <sighs> ah, that was eight, baby. Two left. Two left. One more. This is where you gotta dig deep right here. You gotta dig deep on this. That's good. Come on. Push this last one. I'll fucking catch you. Go. I'm gonna fucking get you, Aldo. Push. Push, Aldo. I'm gonna fuck if I catch you, dog. Come on, B. No money. No money, baby. No money, baby. That's how we do it right there. That's 10 solid ones. Do the shit you hate. Do it like you love it, baby. Shout out to Tyson. Ah. 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 Damn, bro. I'm gonna sleep for two days, bro. Me neither. I didn't see for five film them. Look at the little youngster. 15 years old, going up. What's up, heavy hitters? We just got done banging out 10 hill sprints. As you can see, drenched dog. You know, got the bad dude windbreaker on, but we sold out of those, man, so you guys can't get them. But, um, man, I'm dead. My legs, end of the week already. And uh, just dead. We've been putting in work all week long. It don't stop. and. 
you guys got to keep grinding, man. No matter what, when it gets tough, when your body hurts, when things are going on in your life, those are never excuses. Those are just reasons to want to quit. But um, your mind's got to tell yourself to keep going, man. Just like we were saying that Mike Tyson quote, man, do the things you hate like you love them, you know, and not just to be a champion, but that's just to get better in life, you know, and to not only have a strong body, but to have a strong mind. And, uh, you know, it made me bring this to the topic of like the haters on the Internet. Not that it matters, but uh, because I'm not the only one that has haters and people that either are envious or jealous or just downright just you know haters you know ha have that hate in their heart for people getting after it you know and there's a lot of those people out there like i said it's not just me a lot of people in general every single person has probably somebody that doesn't like what they're doing you know whether it's something awesome like something great like maybe helping out the less fortunate or maybe it is you know someone that's a professional football player or it could be someone that's a boss or a manager or a ceo of a company there's always going to be haters uh whether it's on your success it could just be on the way you look it could just be on your work ethic it could just be who you are man people just want to hate and um it's really not a message to my haters it's a message to the people that do have haters it's a message to people like me like you guys watching uh, that are doing positive things and are doing the best in their life and trying to help others man it's a message to you guys not the haters but a message to you guys to keep pushing man and don't let those haters bother you don't let those haters bring you down don't let those haters uh dictate what you do um it's all about pursuing what you believe is your path you know especially if you believe in god man god has that path out there for you already and he's gonna guide you so um you know that's already written but just continue to do what um what you feel in your heart is right you know grind every day and uh, even when things get hard keep pushing even when you think people may judge you or not like the things you do or whatever it may be man maybe you're different maybe you go against the grain maybe they don't like your hairstyle or the shoes you wear the clothes whatever it may be you know who cares who cares man do you do you and keep grinding man stay true to you guys man you know screw the haters don't pay them no mind if anything and i'm not, I'm not saying it's necessarily what you want to do but you could use it as fuel too man use it as fuel to to your fire to your flame you know what i mean prove them wrong i'm not saying that works for everybody but if that is uh one of your motivation factors you know proving your haters wrong or killing them with success uh it's not a bad thing, man, if you use a negative to a positive. It's always what you guys want to do is turn that negative into a positive, you know. And uh, that's what it's all about, man. So for me, I pay them no mind now just because I've already been in the game so long. And I've been there out on social media and I know what I get myself into. Like a lot of people that are fresh in the social media or that are not just fresh that have been in, in a minute, they can't handle the haters and they complain back and... They get depressed and things like that. And I understand, man, we're human and it hurts us, you know, we're only human. But I've been in the game that I've, you know, unfortunately, I trained my mind. Uh, it's a good and bad thing that I had to train my mind to not pay attention to the haters, not pay attention to the people that have negative comments and things like that. I had to train myself for that because in the beginning, man, it would get me upset and things like that. But now I look past it and uh, with honesty, sometimes I see when people come on the YouTube channel, watch the video, literally watch the whole thing because they notice things within the video. Maybe, oh man, look at Big right there, you know, he, his stomach popped out right there, he has a gut, you know, whatever, it may, oh, look, a pimple on his head or whatever it may be, you know. They had to be watching that video pretty closely to find out my flaw right there and then go on the internet and type, man. So for you guys, man, I, I don't wanna say I feel sorry, man, but I'm gonna say a prayer for you guys that Hopefully you guys can find a better purpose in your life than coming on my channel, whoever's. Because if you're probably coming on mine, you're probably coming on other channels and going, hey, man. So, you know, I'm hoping the best for you guys. Find something positive out there that you guys are outlet, you know, for you guys to uh, put your energy on, you know what I mean, instead of hate. Because I know a lot of people out there, it doesn't even cross the, your mind, like me. It doesn't even cross my mind to go on another man's social media 
and leave a hateful comment you know maybe i see people that i disagree with or that i don't like or whatever and i see the see the content sometimes you come across it you know but uh i've never came in my mind where i want to you know just say a hateful comment you know but uh it's that uh, new generation type. I don't want to say new generation. I think there's, al there's always been haters. It's just because of social media now, it's more voiced over the internet for people to see, you know, and it's part of life. So that's why I'm saying no, that's not going to go away, guys. So that's why I'm making this video is uh, it's really not the message to the haters. This is a message to everyone that has haters, man, to keep your head up. Don't pay them no mind. Keep grinding. Do you put your head down work 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 that's what we're doing we're working baby you think i want to be here out here at 6 a.m no you think i want to be coming and running these damn hills no but we got to do those things like we said that we hate do them like we love them baby and uh it's only gonna get us better and it'll become more normal even uh not to be cliche you know naming uh mike tyson's quotes and now david goggins ones but it's like the david goggins you know I always like to look for people that are doing it above me that have been more successful uh, than me. It could be whatever in, you know, in business, in sports, in athleticism, in strength, in uh, whatever, anything like that. Um, I like to look to them and like David Goggins is like, you got to be uncomfortable. Do those uncomfortable things until they become comfortable or more comfortable, if anything. So you got to do those things that are, take you out of that comfort zone, man, and do them repeatedly so they become more natural. So um, that's what we're doing today, man. We come 6 a.m., dog, Saturday, 6 a.m. We come to get it, man. That's what it's all about and uh we're gonna keep getting it man regardless regardless of uh what the situation is we got kicked out of the occ again and it's all good man you know the security whatever he's real cool so you know we gave him that respect we dipped and uh we found another spot man we got we got outdoors we're free baby that's the good thing about it is this we're free we're out here we have the option to come out and get it somewhere else man we would have ran some sprints right here on this grass if we had to you know so it don't matter we're out we're out here getting it baby every single day we got to get that paper man um they, it don't matter what your situation is even if you know you're locked up even if you don't have a hill or bleachers or you don't have weights or you don't have the tools man you always got the floor hit them push-ups hit them burpees you know what i mean hit them body weight squats you know you can do so much with just the concrete just the floor you can do so much man so many different variety of things man so like i said we're gonna keep getting it you know screw the haters do you guys do you out there man do what you guys feel um that's right you know follow your heart and uh you know you guys can get it out there man keep getting it keep grinding put your head down and work baby like I tell you guys, if you guys can remember me for anything, you know, you know, I got the powerlifting records. Um, you know, I've skated, I've boxed, I've done whatever I could do, football, wrestling, everything. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, just I like to be remembered as just putting in work, man. Just putting in that dog work, just working and uh, trying to outwork the next man, you know, and it's tough. But that's what I want to be known for is just putting my head down and working, baby. That's that's what I feel like is the best thing to do man because even Zach like Zach says man there's never a time hard work won't pay off man hard work will always pay off guys so uh put your head down grind do the things that make you uncomfortable do them like you love them and don't let these haters phase you man keep pushing all right all right heavy hitters and um just want to say I love you guys man keep banging